Hi, let's discuss reaching definition. A definition D reaches a point P if there is a path from D to P such that D is not killed along the path. Let a definition is D and there is a point P. We will say that this definition reaches point P if it is not killed along the path. Means in between this path there is no other definition for this same variable then we will say that D reaches P. What is the meaning of killing? We kill a definition of variable x if there is any other definition of x anywhere along the path. Let here x equal to 10 and here x equal to 12. Then we will kill this definition as x value is redefined. So what is kill? We are deleting other definition on same variable that is called as kill. If a definition D of some variable X reaches a point, then D is the place at which the value of X used at P was last defined. Suppose D is one definition, let X equal to 10 and it is reaching point P. Let in P Y equal to X plus Z. Here this definition is reaching point P means X was last defined in this definition. Let's see one example of reaching definition. So block 1 all definition D1, D2, D3 are reaching to block 2. Next in block 2 the definition D5 J equal to J minus 1 in block B2 also reaches beginning of block B2 due to this slope. It can also reaches beginning of block 2. And it will delete other definition on J means it will delete this D2, J equal to N. Next D4, I equal to I plus 1, it cannot reach beginning of block 2 as in D7, I value is redefined. So this definition will kill this definition that's why I equal to I plus 1 cannot reach beginning of block 2. This definition D7 I equal to U3 that can reach the beginning of block 2 but not D4 I equal to I plus 1. As when we are generating D7 at the same time we are killing D4 and D1. Let's discuss transfer equation for reaching definition. Consider a definition D U equal to B plus W. So this statement generate a definition D of variable U and kill all other definition in the program that define U. So when we are generating at the same time it will kill all other definition on variable U. Generate sometime we write as GEN shortly GEN. The transfer function of definition D can be expressed as FD. FD is the transfer function for definition D. X. X is for variable equal to j n of d union x minus k of d. Here j n of d will generate definition d. The set of definition generated by the statement and k of d is the set of all other definition of u in the program. Suppose block b has n statement with transfer function f i x equal to j n of i union x minus k i. i value can be 1, 2, 3 up to n. These are for single definition. I will write for block f of b x equal to j n of b union x minus k of b. This b is for basic block. So this is a transfer function for block f of b x equal to j n of b union x minus k of b. So what is j n of b and what is k of b? k of b equal to k of 1 union k of 2 union up to k of n. While j n of b equal to j n of n union j n of n minus 1 minus k of n union j n of n minus 2 minus k of n minus 1 minus k of n union up to j n of 1 minus k of 2 minus k of 3 up to minus k of n. Let one block contain two definition 1 and 2 then what will be j n of this block? J n of block will be J n of last statement. Last statement is 2. So it will be J n of 2 union J n of 1 minus k of 2. Then what will be k of b? k of b will be k of 1 union k of 2. This is J n of this block while this is k of this block. 
Suppose one block contain three statement, then how will write Jen and kill? So Jen of block will be Jen of three. We'll start with the last statement. Union Jen of two minus skill of three. Union Jen of one minus skill of two minus skill of three. If there are three statement in one block, then what will be kill of block? Kill of block will be kill of one union kill of two union kill of three. The gen set contain all the definition inside the block that are visible immediately after the block. We refer to them as downward exposed. Then kill set is the union of all definition killed by individual statement. Gen set contain all the definition which are downward exposed or which are not killed. And kill set contain union of all individual kill statement. Gen have high precedence over kill. So in gen kill form, kill set is applied before the gen set as gen have high precedence over kill. So first we will do kill, then we will do the gen. Let's say one example, one block contain two definition D1 A equal to 3, D2 A equal to 4. So gen set for this basic block is D2 since D1 is not downward exposed. Or you can write gen of this block equal to gen of 2 union gen of 1 minus scale of 2. Gen of 2 means this same definition D2 union gen of 1. Gen of 1 is D1 minus scale of 2. So this definition is killing this statement. So here we are defining A. It will kill all other definitions that are defining A. So it will kill D1. So D1 minus D1 that will be 5. So we will simply get D2. So gen set of this block will contain D2. The kill set contain both D1 and D2. Since D1 will kill D2 and D2 will kill D1. So kill of B will be kill of 1 union kill of 2. Kill of first statement will kill the second definition. So D2 kill of second statement will kill the first definition. So D1. It will be D1, D2. Since the subtraction of kill set precedes the union operation with the gen set, so the result of transfer function for this block will also include definition D2. As in gen function, we are subtracting kill of 2, means we are subtracting D1. So D2 will be downward exposed while will kill D1. Let's see another example. I will explain with a flow graph. I will write generate and kill for each block. So this is a control flow graph. Now we will do for block 1. So block 1 what it will generate? It will generate this three definition D1, D2 and D3. And what it will kill? D1 definition will kill all other definition for I. So it will kill D4, D7. Then D2 definition kill all other definition for J. It will kill D5. D3 definition will kill all other definition for A. So it will kill D6. So block 1 will generate D1, D2, D3. While kill of block 1 will be D4, D5, D6 and D7. Next we will do for block 2. Block 2 will generate D4 and D5. While it will kill. D4 will kill all other definition for I. It will kill D1 and D7. Then D5 will kill all other definition for J, it will kill D2. So Jn of block 2 will be D4, D5 while kill of block 2 will be D1, D2 and D7. Next we will do for block 3. Block 3 will generate D6 while it will kill all other definition for A, it will kill D3. Jn of block 3 will be D6, kill of block 3 will be D3. Next we will do for block 4, it will generate D7 while it will kill all other definition for I, it will kill D1 and D4. So Jn of B2 is D7 while kill of B2 is D1 and D4. In today lecture I discussed reaching definition, it is necessary for live variable analysis. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.